Well, welcome back, my fantastic artistic friends. Are you ready to do a big painting with Master Temple? Happy days. Well, what we've got up here is a big canvas and it's been primed and we've coated it in a very, very thin layer of liquid white, which means we can blend colour up here rather than down on the palette. We're using a limited palette today, which means we've only got a few colours, blue, black, white, maybe a bit of brown as well. And a touch of red to sign it, if all goes well. So let's, let's start off up here. Let's get a little bit of this blue. Now this is French ultramarine blue. It's more of a more of a darky purpley blue. I'm just gonna just wisp in a little sky up here. Just like so. I'm gonna go all the way across on a one-inch paintbrush. And don't worry about all the imperfections in the sky. That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. We want some white parts, we want some lighter parts, we want some darker parts. Make a nice backgroundy sky, just like that. Just all the way along. Like so. Yeah. And as you get less colour on the paintbrush, as we work towards the horizon, that's fine. We want it lighter in the middle darker up at the top. So to that I'm going to add a tiny bit, just a tiny bit of, of midnight black. And we can come up here and really darken the top part just like so. Just down there like that. And maybe put a few grey spots in the, in the sky wherever we want them. Like that. And down here, we can just wipe the brush off like that. Just like so. Now, the brush that I've had the liquid white on, I'm just gonna go over some of this. Just a bit of white paint, just in here. And just merge all this together. Now, this will lighten the sky and it'll blend it all together. And we'll come back in here with a big brush make it all uniform, well not uniform, but all, so you can't tell where one colour starts and one colour stops, basically. As main emphasis today is a nice big mountain range. I don't know how big it's going to be or, you know, you know, these things grow on us, don't they? They really do. Okay, so just like that, there we go, all the way across. Now we get a variant of colours. And again, just wipe the excess paint off down here. We don't know what we're going to paint down here, but we know we're going to have something, don't we? Okay, again, let's take a dry, uh, a dry brush, okay, and then just start bringing all this together. Just like that. Now, I like French Ultramarine. It's a, it's a Windsor and Newton paint, rather than the Bob Ross paints or the Gamble ones you get. And it does, it, it does let you flow a little bit more using different colours from different companies. Lets you flow a little bit more. There we go. Right, so I think we should add a little cloud into that one. So I'm just going to take some white paint on a fan brush. And just up here, where we've got some of these white spots, all I'm going to do is just, just push in a little cloudy shape. Not much, just a little shape, just to break that up. And again, we can come back here, with this big brush, swirl the bottom of that up, just the bottom, don't touch the top, and then lightly go up either side, just to take the brush strokes out. And there we go, we've got a nice little cloud sitting up there. Okay, now let's work on a mountain, that's what we said we'd do. So I'm gonna take some black, and I'm going to take a tiny bit of brown and maybe a bit of blue and mix all that together on the palette. That will be a base colour. So I'll push that out and get a tiny little roll of paint. Now I don't know where, we're going to make a far mountain I think first, so I'm just going to just push that in and just scrape something like this in so you can see it's, it's got browns and it's got blues and it's got a bit of black in there. Just like that. Okay, that's all I want for that little far away 
mountainy area up there. I'm just going to grab that and pull this out just like that. Just grab and pull and then just blend it away into nothing. So we've got some umps and bumps just there like that. There we go. Right, we can highlight some of this. Not much, I don't want too much on there, so I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of white paint, only a tiny, tiny, small amount on the little on the little palette knife, and then we're, we're just gonna put a tiny indication of some, some highlights up there, like that. It doesn't take much paint, not much. Just really gently go down. Just there, like that. Okay, we'll make a little bit of a, a shadow colour, so we'll take some blue and white and then we'll come in from the opposite side and we'll just put a little tiny shadow just there, like that. We don't need much, this is, we're going to push this mountain quite far back I think. There. Okay, maybe a bit more up there. There we go. Okay, so if you want to redefine some of that edge, take a bit more white paint and then just there, like that, down there. Mountains are some of the nicest things you could paint. I mean, I, I've only seen one or two when I, when I visited Canada, and they are so gorgeous. Of course, the mountains that we get when you go through Wales and up into Scotland yourself. So. Okay, so that's that. That's that little fire away one done. So I'm going to take a uh, brush that's got the white paint on, just wrap, whoop, just wiped it across the paper towel just to take the excess off. And I'm just going to tap the base of this, just really tap, follow the angles of the mountain both sides so if you go one side and then go the other there yeah, like so there we are and then just blend that together just lift up lift up lift up there we go and just take that off now we're gonna have a, a, a bigger mountain I think in the foreground okay so Back to the palette knife, back to some black paint. And we're gonna start off with a big hole. Ooh, where are we gonna go with this one? Just there, like so. And we'll bring this one down. Oh, oh, where's he gonna live? Where's this big mountain gonna live? There, like that. Get in there, scrape all the excess off. Really push the knife into the canvas. And we'll probably fetch it round. Like that. Maybe, maybe we've got another peak. Just there, like this. Wiggle your hand, jiggle your hand. Scrape off the excess. Scrape it all off. There we go. This one's looking a bit long, so we'll put a we'll, we'll put another peak up there, just like that. There we go. Okay, let's get rid of some of this excess paint. We don't want and some down here. There. Now, wipe that off. Wipe your palette knife off on a nice, good quality paper towel. Now I'm gonna take a, uh, let me get a paintbrush. Which one, anyone, anyone will do. This one. This one's got dirty color on, so we'll use this. So we're just gonna drag this down. And this removes excess paint so we can put the highlights and the shadows on. It also gives us some sort of indication of where our 
mountain range, the direction of the highlights and shadows will be down there like that. And then just blend that off into the snow, into the liquid white down there. And then same on this one. So we just grab and pull right the way down. Just like that. There. Again, do this third peak. So we've got basically five peaks. Two in the background, three out here. And then just blend this down into nothing. All goes well. This will be mist and fog at the base of the mountain down here. I do love a good big mountain. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Right, just like that. Okay. Right then. Let's work on some highlights and some shadows on this one. Okay, so let's take some white paint. And I'm going to take a tiny, only a tiny bit of burnt umber. That will give like a, a lovely stone colour and it'll cost it'll pick up some of this black but not much now the highlight is coming from the right hand side so we'll work on the highlights I always work on the highlights first and I'll just go on and we'll just push very gently pull this down keep loading your knife we'll pull it down there like that yeah there. I'll put a little bit up there as well. Down here, way. And again, up on this one, we'll put some highlights on here. So just like that. Nice, thick, firm paint we need. And like I've said, it's a pretty cool day as well. So, so your paint will. If it's kept cool, will be a little bit, will be a little bit firmer as well. Because when it warms up, when you're mixing with it, it gets it goes where it wants. But there we go, like that. And maybe on this one, let's redefine that edge. Now we need to know which one's in the foreground. Does this come through this way, or does that go through that way? We don't know. Don't know. Right, we're going to take some blue and some white. And again, I'm going to add a tiny bit. And this time, it's Van Dyke Brown I'm adding to that. Just to dull, just to dull this, this paint down so it's not as bright. And then we'll just start there. And very lightly. Very gently come down there like so. Allow the paint to break. That's what we want, the paint to break. You see all these little holes? It's very, very difficult to, to paint those. Not impossible, but very difficult. Mix a bit more paint, a bit brown in that. Wrench that down there like so. Seems we've got another ridge starting already. Here, right. So in this crevice there, just pull down really gently, really gently. Follow the angles of the mountain range. That's what we're after. The angles of the mountain range. There we go. Down. Nice and gently. Flow down the mountainside. Just like that. And then we can fetch this one round. That, there, there, there. that is a big mountain, yeah? I think we'll put a bit more shadow in here. Maybe there's going to be a snowy glacier or something like that down there. Right, let's go back to the highlight colour. Wipe the knife off. And then we can come back and we can leave firm this edge there and then just take it down like so maybe down there 
plenty of pain. Let's build up big, thick layers of pain. Yeah. There we go. Maybe this one comes down in front of this one. Where should we put you? We'll just redefine this edge. There, yeah, like that. Again, there. Come down. Really thick paint. Really firm. Really pull. Think like it. Where would all this land? Like so. Maybe on this side as well. So let's get. Let's mix some more paint. Running out of paint mixture, folks. That happens. Okay, so you see this edge here? I'm just gonna reaffirm that. So we'll just come down there and again, just gently, gently, very gently. There, so just like that. Maybe a little bit up here. Maybe we need to sneak in there with a little knife. Maybe that looks like a natural place just to put another one just there. So I'm gonna go now with some more of this bluey colour. Come back here. I'm just gonna take some blue and white. And there and here and here and there. More of that in there. This wants to go down, doesn't it? There and there and there. And you can come back in with blacks if you want a blacker mountain. If you want to put some more holes in there, you can do. The amount of time you could spend on this is unlimited. It really is unlimited. Right, wipe the knife off. I'm going to go straight into pure, pure white there and here I'm just going to pick up where some some snow caps would live there. really add a little bit of different tone to your mountain Maybe there, there. There, like so There as well, that looks like a natural place to have an angle going off that way. I'm virtually sideways onto this, you see, so I can't really see what you guys can see. But I hope it looks alright for you. I really do. Right, I'm gonna pull this one down there like so. Maybe a bit more up there. Scrub in some white paint. Just really push that in there. Okay, now. Maybe a bit of blue just down there. Really push that in with your palette knife. I'm gonna come back in here with, just let me wipe the knife off. Make sure your knife's nice and clean now. Big old brush. Gonna, just like we did with the far away mountains, I'm just going to tap in, just like that. What we're going to get is mist. Usually, when you can see a whole mountain, the, 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 the whole thing, the, uh, it's more distinct at the top than it is down at the bottom. So we need some mist creeping up the side of these mountains. as well we don't know we don't know we don't know now I've spotted something that I'm not too happy with so before we carry on so just a little bit more blue and a bit more white just mix that up there I just don't like this big dark line but if you want a big dark line like that you leave that in all I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of eye light color on that 
and then take a bit of white where this peak is I'm gonna just project that up slightly like that so it reaches that and then go back to the shadow color and then on this side again just a little bit just a little bit there like that and that should jump out at you To nothing. Get more white paint, and we'll just highlight this side there, there like that. Now oh, we've got a pretty mink mountain, haven't we? Right. Let's leave that alone before we start. He says, picking up a paintbrush. Let's leave that alone. Just blend the base there. So we've got a really big heavy mountain scene now so now we're going to use I'm going to take a tiny little brush get a little bit of paint thinner odorless paint thinner and I'm going to use a bit of blue and a bit of black black and blue or blue and black this is just on a tiny little fan brush and I'm just going to tap right there there like so These are going to be far, far away little trees. Just there. Like that. Just really tap them in. Just there. You can't get this wrong. You really can. You really can. It's like playing a drum. <laughs> of course, drums are canvas, I believe. Okay, there. Like that. Wipe off that brush. Okay, where these are, again, just tap the base of those and then just blend that out. So now we've got like a nice little stand of trees way back in the distance. Just like that. And now we can really get going. Let's pick up the nice little rounded brush. Little, little tiny rounded brush. Now I'm gonna go into some black, some brown, just black and brown, tiny bit of blue on there. You may need to thin this down with a bit of paint thinner. Now on here, uh, let's go about there. Put the indication of where this little tree will be. And we'll just pop an evergreen tree there. Just like that and then another one we'll put another one there like so side to side work on the corners of the, the paintbrush and then go backwards and forwards like that a bit more dark paint really darken this up maybe another one maybe a bigger one just there Side to side, side to side. I like this brush. The, the, these these trees really just just jump straight out, just jump straight out of the paintbrush. Let's give him a nice little friend, as the legendary Bob Ross would say. Everyone needs a friend. Maybe another one. Let's sneak another one in there. You know what happens when one or two trees get together? They invite all the friends. that down there like so right back to the brush this has just got this just had white paint on it earlier on and I'm just gonna pull this out just like that just pull it in one direction and we can come back in there in a moment and put some snow on that just blend that out to nothingness Okay, let's add some more. We, we're, we're gonna come back in and highlight some of these, but uh, for now, we'll just, we'll just go with the flow. So this is black and blue, or blue and black, bit of brown in there. And we'll put a big one 
just there like so that's where we're going to start him off and then side to side all the way down work the way down if you need to reload your brush off turn your brush over that's that's what you should do of course that's what you should do there down down all the way down a bit more paint there you go of course this one is in the foreground so you can see a lot more of this one like that maybe there's a smaller one sneaking behind him or in front of him we don't know yet there, like that bring that out in front just like that Maybe there's some little upstanding things that live in the snow there. Like that. Okay. Let's go on to the other side. Now I want to put one, I want to box all this area in. So I'm going to put one about there. Maybe it's not as big as these two. So we'll just go from side to side. A bit more black paint in that one. Good. There. there we go, bring it in front of there, like that. And maybe another one, shall we say? There, like so. We could really box all this lot in. We don't really care, do we? It's the mountains that we were bothered about. Practice with mountains. Why not down? So we've got a nice big forest going on as well. Like that. Mm, do we want another one? Why not? I'm gonna add some more brown into this one though. There, like that. Now you can vary the colors with these. Are we using a limited palette, like I said? But you could actually go with uh, a, a full palette, and, you know, get greens involved, get yellows involved, get, uh, Let's just fill all that one in there. Get whatever you want involved, really. Crimsons. Maybe. Like so. Great practice for making mountains. Great practice for the little evergreen trees as well. Just put some indications of some bits and pieces down there. And some, some bits and bits. Of, uh, foliage are just breaching the snow right let's get rid of that okay now I'm gonna take that same brush which has got the white paint on it now I want this one to be in the foreground so I'm just gonna grab this one and pull it this way like that so this is natural shadows now so we're creating some shadows that are in the snow there we go just there you see we've got a path that's leading that way and then same with this one just pull wherever we want the shadows to be that's where they'll be just there like that and just blend that out to nothingness okay back to the palette knife and I'm just going to take some brown and then intermittently put a tree trunk or two, you can even put a couple in the background. So you won't see the full tree, you won't see the full trunk either. There you go, over there, like that. Maybe one or two, that's you can just by just pushing some lines in. I don't know if you can see that pretty well. You can turn a, a couple of painted trees. A, a nice little forest quite easily and quite quickly just like that it also gives some definition there like that maybe one or two we don't want too many down there just there like so okay i'm going to wipe this brush off and wash this i've only got one of these you see odorless paint thinner I think we'll come back in here and we'll put a few highlights in. Then we'll put a few 
lumps of snow on the ground and I think we're nearly, nearly finished. So we'll make sure that this is absolutely clean. There's nothing the worse than taking dirty black paint into your white paint. And I will just beat that against the edge of that there. Right, so white paint. I'm going to take a tiny bit of liquid white as well, just to make it a little bit more thinner. We want a thin paint, and the thin paint will stick to the thick paint that's already on here. So every now and again, we're just going to touch, and we're just going to put the odd little highlight. Just a little highlight, just like that. We don't, we don't need to go crazy with the highlights. Just enough just to break up some of this, this, this block of colour. I want these to remain quite dark. I don't want them to take uh, yeah, the focal point away from the, uh, the mountain. everywhere there we go same on the other side let's get a bit more liquid white and again just one or two there we go leave that leave these quite dark we might maybe that one there tap 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 wants to get darker towards the base as well because if you see a, a tree in its entirety all the light is on top and it's the base it's the base that's in shadow and that's what we're trying to create here and just a few highlights maybe a bush or two that lives in there and out bring that out there we go There we go. How's it looking so far? Quite challenging this painting in a way. Right. Just grab some of that white paint and blend that in. Right, I'm going to take the palette knife again. In fact, we'll take the little one. I'm just going to grab some of this titanium white and I'm just going to layer on just like we did with the mountain snow, just down there, just a tiny bit of this, it will give the indication of nice, thick, heavy snow. And when it dries, it, it will look, it will look epic. Trust me on that. Then, some big, thick, heavy snow. There we go. Same on this side, just a tiny bit there. There we've got it. We've got it. Maybe even a touch of blue in that just to shadow it up a little bit. There. I was about that then there folks. I was about that. Right, I'm gonna take some paint thinner. Two things, I'm gonna go into some dark paint and I'm just gonna put the odd one or two stick here and there. Just like that, a couple on here. Give it some weeds that are growing out of the snow. And then I'm gonna go into some red paint. If I can find it, it's down there. Oh. Well, I don't want this dripping onto my shirt. Clean shirt, you know. Clean shirt today. Okay, then I'm gonna sign this one just there, like that. We'll do if the paint bristles will stick it together there, there and there right my fantastic friends if you give this one a go let me know how you get on with it and uh, did you enjoy this painting and if you're not subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing give it a big thumbs up leave me a nice comment let me know what you want to see painted next and until next time take care of yourself stay safe and as always happy days